What's up guys, Skippy Apricotus here, and today we'll be doing a rather interesting test. We're going to see just how dirty Steelcase is. Uh, we got some Magatec 115 grain, very shiny Steelcase actually. And um, what we've done is I have done my usual after like thousand round cleaning where I deep clean the entire gun. I'll put the pictures on screen. And um, what we will be doing is I got, like as mentioned, I got a thousand rounds of this stuff. I'm going to burn through it. Uh, we're going to come back and check and see how much dirtier this gun has gotten. After which we'll do a, another deep clean and then we will be running a thousand rounds of brass through it. I'll try to get 115 grain brass ammo if I remember, just so it's kind of on point, though I doubt it really matters for the test. But yeah, that's what we're doing. They always say steel case is dirty and, uh, you know, I mean, it definitely is a little more dirty, but uh, it's going to be especially exempt, you know, it's going to get more dirtier than normal too because we got a direct blowback gun, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see just how bad this thing gets after a thousand rounds. Alright, so we have officially gone through a thousand rounds of that steel case MogTech, and um, now it's time to take the gun apart and see just how dirty it got. Now, obviously, you can see on the side quite dirty of course there's some cat hair and all that there but most of all, all that's your fouling right there but now taking the gun apart that's your inside right there um Honestly, not looking too dirty. Uh, I know there's a shadow right there, so I'll add pictures to the video. But not looking super dirty, if I'm being honest. Um, I mean, I fired a thousand rounds of this before. I usually clean the gun after it, and maybe I'm just not remembering, but it seems fairly clean. There's your upward portion. And there, of course, is your bolt. So there's your results uh, from a thousand rounds of steel case ammunition being fired through the gun. Now, if I'm being quite honest, these look uh, fairly clean than what um, than, than like how a thousand rounds normally looks to this thing. Uh, dare I say, the steel case almost looks like it's cleaner. And I did notice when I was shooting it, uh, the casings actually seemed less foul than the brass casings. Um, yeah, maybe it's just the ammo, the, the stuff Magtech makes is real clean. But uh, that being said, though, we are going to clean the gun and using the power of, you know, magic, it's now clean. And um, we are going to run another thousand rounds through it. Alright, so we are back after another 1,000 rounds, this time of Brass Case, which I did not specify, but we were running 115 grain MogTech. Um, not sure the grain weight matters, but best to be as close to the other stuff as possible. So anyways, let's take a look at our gun. I will say that um, some areas actually do look a little bit dirtier than the steel case. Uh, this area kind of looks the same, though. But anyways, let's take it apart. I will say that actually does look slightly dirtier than the steel case, funny enough. I mean, by, by a very small margin, but it does, at least to me, look a little bit dirtier. Uh, anyways, let's go on, check that bolt out. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, that actually looks a little bit dirtier, too, than the steel case. Uh, I'm going to put pictures comparing the uh, two sets of you know, steel case and brass case, because it might just mean me kind of not having the picture in front of me to compare it to. But just for memory, because I did check what it looked like, that does, surprisingly enough, look dirtier. Spring kind of looks the same a little bit. 
see what the interior looks like. Yeah, I think that actually kind of looks about the same. All right, so here's the images on screen. The top set are from the steel case ammunition, and the bottom set are from the brass case. Now, to be honest, uh, I was getting concerned because uh, I, I, I kind of wanted to have both sets of images in front of me, and I was getting, I was like, it's kind of weird the brass case looks dirtier. But um, having both sets up on screen right now, it, it's actually looking like that's the case, which uh, that's... Uh, that's very weird because I, I figured, to be honest, that the steel case was going to be dirtier anyways. And that, but like, it was, this is mostly supposed to be a video like, how much dirtier is it? Because people always complain about that. And, uh, well, I, I never really noticed it was being like a, like a pain, you know. But weirdly enough, it, it appears that when you compared the brass case 115 grain mod tech versus the, you know, the steel case stuff, the brass case is actually the dirtier one. Um, very, uh, Weird conclusion, maybe I'll have to test out different ammunition types. No, no promises on that one. Now also, also, do keep in mind, uh, maybe it's just me being kind of shocked by this, but I do these videos on my phone, and these images are kind of small, so maybe up on the computer screen it's like a little bit easier to tell, you know, like, if anything, I would expect them to be equal at the, you know, worst, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of weirded out by this one, to be honest. But anyways, I think that is going to do it for this video on uh, how much more dirtier is steel case versus brass case. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I personally enjoyed making it, and I will see you all next time.